go to body. Okay, give it a O. Oh. Then the ooh, and then the legs, and then go low. Okay, boom. Yeah, 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 shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I guess it's natural, man. And speaking of natural, this episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation Tea. It promotes erections, improves stamina, promotes endurance, increases styles, and boosts uh, boost the libido. So if you really want to put it down the way you're supposed to put it down, make sure you go to Engorge.com and get yours today. Male supplement, all natural, just like Big Groove do his thing. All natural. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? Welcome to yet another episode of the Ugly Money Podcast. I am your host, Ugly Money Nietzsche, and today's guest is a very special guest. Yes, indeed. 804's own, a real Petersburg product, ladies and gentlemen. This young man signed himself for $200,000. He is the budget. Ladies and gentlemen, Fresh Porter is here. What's that? What's that? What's up, my brother? I appreciate you making appreciate time, you man. Me, bro. Hey, man, we got to take it all the way back, all the way back to the crib, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you're from Virginia. I'm from Virginia. We're from, uh, you know, the same area. And so I've seen the, um, I've seen the growth. Yeah. I've seen the consistency. Like what? No, so salute, salute. Like what? I need to know, well, I need the people to know who was Fresh Porter before Fresh Porter became Fresh Porter. Lil Fresh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know Lil Fresh. I know Lil Fresh. Hey, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you something crazy. I'm gonna tell you uh, I'm gonna tell you how everything comes full circle, right? Rest in peace of dog jigger. Slap shots out. You and Dog Jigger, y'all gave me my first opportunity to perform. Cause I ain't gonna lie, back then I was a little fresh. I was kind of like a look. I, I, I was like, I like the girl and, and yeah, something, yeah. but I was shy with the music. Cause I ain't, really, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah. You, you just started. get started. Yeah. You first getting started, and uh, man, I remember you pulled up on me on College Street, bro. You pulled up on me on College Street. I think you had a, 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 a white. Was it a white truck you had? It might have been a sub. I forget. Yeah, UConn. UConn. Yes, sir. There. Yes, sir. That's yeah, so easy, yeah. UConn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I found you on MySpace, bro. I found you on MySpace. And you was doing the showcases and shit. And you pulled up on me. And I hit you. Like, that's why I respect the box. Because you've been a hustler. Yes, sir. You've been a hustler. You feel what I'm saying? Back then, I was paying to get on shows. Yes, sir. But you you created a platform yes, for sir. me to showcase this shit. You know what was crazy about that time? We didn't even know what it was back then. Like, I, no, I was just, sure. you know... I, I didn't realize until looking back that I had one of the first platforms in Virginia like to for actually give show. independent artists a for chat, you know show. what I'm saying? But we was just, we knew we, we we was rapping and we wanted to rap, so we wanted, and nobody was throwing no show, so and, we had to throw our own show. And that's the crazy thing, because you know where we from, like, if it's if it's somebody rapping, I might be a nigga rapping. Yeah. He ain't going to get his, he ain't going to get his stage to everybody nope. else. Hey, but you did that. Yeah. You did that for us. You feel uh, what I'm bro. saying? That was legendary. You did it. And at one of the most popping clubs at the time, at Roxy's. <laughs> That's how the Roxy's, No cap, that bit was packed out, <laughs> bro. I got up there. I almost forgot my words and everything, dog. Real still, though. It's a good old days, man. Real, it's I still remember days. how you introduced me and shit. You got down around our conversation back, word for word. Yes, sir. You was like, he was like, yeah, the next nigga ain't coming to the stage. I said, I pull up on him. He said, I said, what's your name? He said, I left, I left friends. I, left. <laughs> I was tripping, though. <laughs> I did remember that. Shit, I though, keep bro. the same energy. No, nah, for sure, bro, for sure. And I appreciate that because no. it, it definitely gave me the confidence Thank to you, move bro. forward and, and get what I needed to get done. Like, as far as like the stage yes, presence and stuff yes, like that, watching people like you, you feel what I'm saying, ill y'all. Yeah, uh, uh, man, I can name I can name a million, I can name a million people, but like people that we could touch, touch. You feel yes, what I'm sir. saying? Who right there in the city and really doing it? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so y'all's run was legendary, man. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate sure. that, man. Fresh Porter over here giving me my flowers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk Petersburg, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk Petersburg. Let's talk upbringing. Let's talk about the bird. Mm -hmm. How was it? Uh, how was it growing up there? I mean, you know how the bird is. <laughs> you know how the bird is. You know they, they. It's love. It's love. It's hate. It's all that in one. You feel me? It's no denying the talent that we got there. The mm -hmm. the uh, the respect that we earn there. The you feel what I'm saying the the work that we done put in in this city. But I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got to a point back then. I used to love that shit. I used to love the screws. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I used to love that shit. My first love basketball. Yes, so sir. 
You feel what I'm saying? Niggas stay in their gym till I got to age. I'm like, hold on, bro. Like, hold on. This ain't like, I ain't got no D1 off, no D2, no D3, nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, it's time to do something. Then, you know, mama and my stepdad kind of like got divorced and shit like this. So back then, my young, my young, undeveloped brain, I'm thinking I got to jump out there and, and do shit I ain't got to do. But, you know, I, I ended up doing it and I, I watched my life kind of like start taking a turn going mm. left, you feel what I'm saying? Once you start going to straight in Petersburg, bro, like, it take a whole lot to kind of like to straighten that out, you feel For what I'm sure. saying? For sure. Or if not, you're going to be, you going to be another statistic, bro. You know, another statistic, the population only like 30,000 people. So, you know, everybody know everybody business and shit like that. And, and, and everybody know what's going on. So, <clears throat> man, I had to deal with a lot of that. A lot. <laughs> you know, that ain't I, never gonna stop. <laughs> man, I remember my grand. I remember no boy. I dropped out my 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 senior, year, my senior, year, man. And I wanted to go holler, uh, hang on. Uh, I would hang on Harden Street at the at the blue store, the red wow. store. Wow. Yeah, I remember my grandma coming out there. My grandma and buried the hell out of me, dog. Come out there. What you doing? You doing? You standing on Johnny Bird corner? Look at <laughs> Man, you gonna get your ass, you going to school. I'm like, bro, I ain't, I ain't even got no school clothes, you feel what I'm saying? I'm bad. At that time, I was fucked up, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I had burnt so many bridges and stuff and, 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 and hurt so many people that love me. You feel me? I couldn't really, like, I couldn't reach nowhere. My reach won't nowhere. So mm -hmm. I was out here fending for myself. And just luckily, I had, you know, the, the main people who love me in my corner and helped me kind of, like, screen things out, you feel what I'm saying? And, yes, sir. And get it together. You know, Granny, she ain't gonna never turn it back. I can't, I ain't never did no wrong. Grandma, I, it's just, outside the Granny, man. No, for sure. Now, coming from, you know, I know for a fact, you know, just the things that you, that you, the, 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 the things that you illustrate in these songs yeah. is real, like, coming from that area, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. It, it, it really is exactly what, what is described. No, for sure. What gives you the gear to prosper forward and to and to want more? Man, when I think about when I think about my career as an artist, to be honest, bro, I always want to do like what you doing. Like I want I always and I'm still on that mindset, CEO status, like I always like had had the vision for for my nigga, like for my nigga Red, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that's my brother, you feel what I'm saying? I always like wanted it for him, you feel what I'm saying? I wanted it for myself too, but I always had that, had that, had that, that thought process. I wanted to put people on, and that's always how I've been, you feel what I'm saying? I, God bless me with a good heart. I'm a giving person, and I like to see other people shine. Mm -hmm. So naturally, you know what I mean? The position I like to, I, I like to be in is the one who. You feel me? You might can say as a boss, I call it a leader. I like to lead. Even that, even when I played basketball, you feel me? I always led. Was a point guard. I know how to lead my team and shit like this. So, yes, sir. you know that's what I always wanted. But <clears throat> as I got older, I, 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 as I got older, and I started realizing, like, damn, I got the talent myself. I Come can on. get it done. I can get it done too. You feel me? And I started putting, I started putting more into my craft as well. As I'm still pushing my, pushing my people. You feel me? Saying, but I know that. I got the opportunity because I know how to network and I know how to open these certain doors. And once I get them doors open, it's, it's gonna be a floodgate. It's house yes, party, house party, house party five. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. So once I, I'm, I'm trying to bust that door open down for everybody, and that's what really made me. Um, you know, I, I always, I always, um, I pride myself on independence. Yes, sir. I pride myself on independence. I pride myself on investing in yourself, betting on yourself. Come on. You feel what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> And most importantly, believing in yourself. Not fact. You feel what I'm saying? Cause they, cause ain't nobody gonna believe in you unless you believe in you. Nah, bro. Like come, like coming up, bro. Uh, uh, to be a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, we had nigga like you, Ill, y'all. You know, Trey. He, Trey slid through the cracks and he just undeniable talent. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That was, that was, that was gonna happen anyway. You feel what I'm saying? But you think about the people who fell short from getting to that next level and shit. So, you know, around our area, like. And damn near like man, you wanna rap like that shit won't that shit really won't that nah, cool. No, I want they want the thing to do. It want the thing to do. So you know what I mean, once I decided I wanted to do it, I kinda like just trying to do it, but like I said, I was shy, like, I don't want a nigga think I'm no clown <laughs> like, cause I'm rapping. But then one nigga caught on to it, like, okay, okay, LeBron hard, you feel what I'm saying? So 
they they gravitated to it and they know it's my real life. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't mm-hmm. I ain't pitching you no fairy tale, nothing like nothing like that. I'm just giving you my story. You feel what I'm saying? And I seen people make millions. I'm just telling their life story. So if they can do it, you feel what I'm saying? I know I can do it. Facts. And, and that's just how that's just how I, I always came in with that mindset. I learned I learned at a, a early age myself that this is a business. Show. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of people think it's a talent show. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's like, oh, I'm hard. And I remember when I was rapping around the way, you know what I mean? I'm like, man, I know I'm rapping good. I know uh-huh. I can spit. And I was, I would get frustrated because I'm like, well, why ain't my shit getting played on the radio? Why ain't my stuff playing in the club? Or, you know, why ain't, why ain't it going where I feel it's supposed to go? And then I had to, like, take a step back and realize the business that that the, the game that I was actually playing. 90, 80 to 90 percent business. Come on. 20 <laughs> percent talent. Talk to me about the business perspective of this game, man. Yeah, I went through that phase too. Like I'm I'm still going through that phase. Yes, sir. I'm not there. I'm not there. I still got a lot more to achieve, a lot more to get done. But I'm gonna tell you, me going to prison in them four years, because right before I left, I came down here, um I met I met with 300, I met with Kevin Lyles at 300, and I met with Jamil at, uh, at TIG. And I was, I was tossing up between which one I was gonna, I was gonna sign with, but I, I was leaning towards TIG. My, my shit that went 10 million views on World Star, mm-hmm. YouTube doing good, I'm, I'm watching everything pick up, I'm getting booked and stuff like that. You feel what I'm saying? I did, I, went and, I did the feature with Boosie. Ten days later, boom, jail. Damn. You I remember me? when I heard. Yeah, it, it's like, damn. I was down here, matter yeah, of fact, around uh-huh. that time. Around yeah. that time, at, at your crib, yep. at your old spot yes, recording. You feel On what I'm saying? On the east side. Yeah, me, me, Red. Uh, uh, city Loco. City. R.I.P. Uh, Car Wham. Man, long little car. Bro. That would be, yo, that t- I still got that tape on my computer. That tape legendary. Man, we need to put that out. <laughs> Stop playing. That shit timeless, dog. That's no fact. That shit timeless, but like... I, me, me having to sit, me getting a chance to sit down because really, like, it might look like I'm organized, but a lot of the shit I just been doing on the fly. Wow. A lot of that I just been doing on the fly, but I just been connecting. You know how you throw a bunch of dots at the board and Come see what stick? Come on. So that's kind of like what I've been doing, but I've been doing it in a strategic way if that makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, I know, sir. I know what times, I know about timing. I learned, help me learn timing when you sit down. You go to prison. You learn about time, and you learn about how to uh, how to how to be patient. You gotta wait to get on the phone. You gotta mm. wait to go to the cafeteria. Mm. You gotta wait to turn the lights off. You feel me? So, and that's always that's business as well. You feel me? Everything might not happen when you want it to happen, but you gotta you gotta you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. You gotta wait for it to come to you sometimes. And you know what I mean? That's why I went about it like I'm tired of waiting on it to come to me. I'm going to get this shit. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to get it. Talk to me about like you. You had so much momentum because I remember. I remember I was around that back that time. You had so much momentum going. Labels tapping in. Bookings is going up. It's really. It seems like it's really about to happen. And then you hit that wall and get locked. That shit like a glass ceiling, bro. That shit like a glass ceiling. Like you can see your. You can see your dream right there. You can see your future right there. Mm-hmm. And you're like, damn, like, you, you ever seen uh, 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 the chocolate factory when they in that motherfucking <laughs> jungle, yeah. they swimming up and shit, you feel what I'm saying? It was like, it was down there like this, so I'm climbing, I'm like, damn, I'm finna see my dreams come true, it about to happen for a nigga. And then, boom, as soon as I look, I ain't even see the glass right there, boom. Damn. Hey, time to sit down. But, it probably is the best thing that ever happened to me, because... I was young, I was reckless, you feel me? I, I ain't really had too much guidance, really, because you got to, like, I was raised up under the, I was raised up on the OGs, you yeah, feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. T-Money. You was very, uh, D-boy, you was very flashy right. back then, I put yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then, you I was very say, flashy. Man, it was that motherfucking Porsche I bought, bro. <laughs> I remember that. I swear it was a, I bought it that was Porsche. A Cayenne. Yeah, Cayenne. Cayenne. I, I bought that. that fucking Porsche, bro. <laughs> I ain't get to enjoy that shit for uh, for three months, bro. <laughs> but when you young and you when you young and you and you never had none. You feel what I'm saying? No, tell you. Yeah, you what do you want to enjoy it? You gonna enjoy it? You gonna enjoy it? And I don't, and I don't I don't feel like you shouldn't enjoy it now. I don't no, feel like sure. I'm gonna enjoy the fruits of my labor. Like uh, I'm a I'm a 
I work hard for this shit I get. Sure. You feel what I'm saying? APs and yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Change and all it is really like, it ain't really got too much of uh, 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 it's material shit, but I worked hard for, for it. For sure. I worked hard for it. Same thing with you. Yes, sir. You feel me? Look at what you done built. Thank you, brother. You worked hard for this. Hard as hell. <laughs> so why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want to showcase it to the world? You feel what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you want people to see you? Thank you, I appreciate it. Why wouldn't you want the world to see what you done work hard for? Mm -hmm. And I always been I always was like that, but I would kinda like to the screen with it too. <laughs> And then, I love that accountability. <laughs> no, for sure. And I'm gonna I'm I'm tell everybody, like, cause I know a lot of a lot of young a lot of young niggas coming up, and they want to rap and shit like that, bro. It's one foot in, one foot out, mm. bro. It's damn near impossible. To yeah, y'all talk about it. It's damn near impossible if you if you scrattling that fence and you trying to uh, uh, you trying to be you want to be a rival. If you yeah, want to be a rival. But you want you want to be a you want to be a street nigga too. <laughs> it's damn near impossible to do. Man, don't believe everything that you're hearing in the raps. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't, everybody not doing that shit. Why they doing? It. And the ones who is doing it, why they rapping it? Them niggas who catching Rico charges. Come on. And you feel what I'm saying? And, and, and getting sent away or, or find themselves in beef. Look at I mean, look at all the rappers dying. You feel what I'm saying? Rest in peace to take off. We down to eight. Rest in peace to take off. We just passed away. You feel me? He had a, a promising future. You feel me? And he's yes, been sir. doing it for so long and still, like, we're still climbing heights. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a dangerous sport we playing. So, Very dangerous. Yeah, so you got to be on your P's and Q's with this shit, man. And like I said, man, scrattling that fence between being a street nigga, a tribal, whatever you claim yourself to be, and trying to be a robber at the same time, bro, you got to put all your eggs in one basket. Mm. So whatever side you pick, you feel me, that's what you got to go with, and you can't look back. Come on, man. Free game alert. It gave you some gems today, man. Uh, <clears throat> four years. <clears throat> Four years. One, was, one, one more. Yes, sir. She just came pull me up my own. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about that, sir. She came and pull me up my own, my own sparkling wine. You feel me? What's uh, it called, man? Tell us about it. Deanna, Deanna, mm. man. This for my my daughter. Her name Dion. You feel me? So um, I just added the on and put a little rise on that. But you know, yeah. When I look at this, bro, this, when I look at this, I see generational wealth. Yes, sir. You know, man. I see some. I see. Them long nights in that cell, mm. me writing a business plan out and visualizing it, drawing my ideas up, and you know what I mean. Everything coming uh, manifest. Yes, sir. You feel me? And, you know, people been loving it lately, man. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, it, it is. I appreciate God it. Goddamn, shouts out Diani, man. So, four years, all the momentum in the world. I saw it from my own eyes. I'm like, oh yeah, first about to go. And I'm looking. I'm watching. I was side of ball and G uh, back every, then. Every month. Good. <laughs> and then uh, you get hit. You got to go down for a minute. You got to sit down. Yeah, for sure. Talk to me about that experience, though, those four years. Like, what's on your mind? What's on your mental? You had everything seem like it was right there, and it just got taken away. I think I'm on that, baby, getting out. <laughs> <laughs> what well, that is? When I'm coming home, you feel me? But, you know, I got children, so it's different when you got kids. Like, if, if it was just me... I probably when I when it scratched off, I ain't had nobody depending on me. I watched when I go when I when I fail, I watched a lot of things around me kinda like like fall off mm. and shit like that. You feel me? I watched. I remember coming home with my daughter telling me like like daddy, um I ain't had a pair of Jordans since you left. And it's something small because she's a child. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So she thinks that's like and but she ain't looking at how hard her people work. Working while I'm gone to keep the roof over her head, food on the table. But you know she's a she's a child, so she thinking with her. Like I said, she got an undeveloped brain. Yeah. At, at the age of eight. She I, used to that. She's used to it. You feel what I'm saying? And I watched that. I watched. I watched that shit kind of like uh, I watched it fall a little bit. You feel me? I watched it fall, and I appreciate everybody who did help, help my kids down, help and looked out for them while I was gone too. And you know, I did my thing behind there to make sure it was great Christmas, his birthdays and stuff like that. But you know, I had I had I had some good help, but I know it wasn't what I was able to provide. For sure. And I think that was like the, the that was the thing that would eat me up aside. Not even just provide, but just watching them grow, watching them, watching them become young ladies. My daughters become young ladies. My son 
growing to a young man, you feel four years, man, it, it, it might not seem like a long time, but a lot happened in yeah, four for sure. years. For, yeah, for sure. A lot happened in four years. And Did you see any people switch? Did you see any people just just get different, like you didn't recognize who they were after that? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Some of the people closer to me, like, people, like, like, God, man, I was in love, bro. Like, hmm. like, I went in, I was in love, like, uh, uh, uh. Like I like hey Janae, like four like like four, you feel me? I change yeah. around the world. You know, and I, <clears throat> I can't even I ain't gonna really say she switched cause you feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say she switched, but you know, the time tell people to party and shit like that. And just as much as I would hurt and I know she would hurt too, but you gotta realize when you behind that wall, life goes on without mm. you sometimes. Mm. Life goes on. Even some of my partners. That's the stuff we don't like to hear if you behind that wall. Though. Hell I, can no. <laughs> I can only imagine. Hell no. <laughs> what you mean? You, you can't, what you mean? Hold on. <laughs> How you put me on? I'm on a jail car. You put me on hold. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit yeah, hit different. I mean, count the seconds. I mean, too many. You can't pull up to the house yeah, and I can't check do it. Nothing. You feel what I'm saying? I can't do nothing. I remember, I remember being in there. I was just telling, uh, I was just telling, telling my people that I was. I remember being in the joint writing songs and shit. I'm so in my feelings. I'm writing songs. Just get on the phone, rap with her, and, and, and sneak this, and just for she can be on. I want you to feel how I'm feeling. <laughs> Shit, I hurt. I want you to hurt too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real shit though, but yeah, like, like you, like shit. Had, like life happens. Sure. Like, while you back there, life don't stop. It, it might stop for you. It might seem like it stop if you're not working towards no, no, trying to like accomplish nothing. While you back there, and not using your time wisely, mm -hmm. and that's why I always kept my mind on writing, been playing, reading, and shit like that. But and you can't. It still don't change what's going on. I, I got man. I got partners. Who I know I held down on, on the land, you feel what I'm saying? Who I made sure was good. I'm talking about all the way to the good and fuck the money. Nigga won't answer my phone call. Wow. Nigga won't even take my call, dog. You feel what I'm saying? That shit will fuck with you mentally, you feel what I'm saying? And, and back then, all you got to, all you got to do is think. Once they once they once some doors close and it's just you. You in that cell, you on that bunk, and you think, like, that's all it is. Like, damn, bro, I can't believe my for doing me like this. But, like I said, life don't stop because you back there. And that's another reason why I said don't scrawl that fence because I, I tried it, bro. Yeah. You ain't got to go through it to learn on your own. Learn from my mistakes. Come on. You feel me? Try I try to eat the game. I tried to scratch that fence and, 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 and it didn't work out well for me, man. I had to lay the fuck down. Do you think it's realistic for a man to expect his woman to hold on for him for four years and keep her legs closed and not have a, a you know a baby leg come visit her from time to time when she, when he locked down? No. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, if you, if you there's a pipe dream for real. You feel what I'm saying? They're like hitting the lottery if you find one. But it is some good, some 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 good woman out there who willing to do that. But I'm gonna say, uh, cause you do 85 percent of your time, so 85 mm -hmm. percent of that time, your girl getting drilled. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way around it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way around that. But you know, if you if 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 the love real, just cause she just cause she she fucking off don't mean she don't love you. That's just part of the game. That's what come with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah, like me, I was so on a high horse when I went in. I felt like you feel what I'm saying. People was untouchable around me. I felt like I felt like the the, the woman in my life and, and shit like that was like man, I'm me. You feel mm. what I'm saying? It, it'll humble you, bro. And I humble you. I humble you. I ate a slice of that pie. I ain't like how that motherfucker tastes, but that shit, when you look on them trailers, they keep on feeding that humble pie to you. You ain't got nothing else to eat. Mm. So you, eventually, you're going to you have, you gonna have to acquire that taste and, and say, fuck it, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it is. Yeah, I can, I can only imagine, um, you know, having a woman. Being a man, a man's man, you know, taking care of what you got to take care of, taking care of your woman. It, it's, not, it's not easy for them. Yeah, it's not no, easy for, sure. for a woman on that. It ain't easy for you, might think it is, but it's not, it's not no, easy. No, they do for the time them. with you. They yeah, do the time sure, with you. For sure. You feel me? You got to think, you go from being hugged up, everything. Like, like, woman love affection, woman love 
love, love to be caressed. Want like just to laugh and and just want a little argue. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they want to argue with them from yeah. time to time. You go in the other room when you leave, and they want to wait for you to come back in the house. And yeah, I mean, so it, a lot of shit. It, it, like we creatures of habit. You feel what I'm saying? So once a habit is broken. And, and it's time to switch up. So we trying to find ourselves in there. They trying to find themselves out there. But you know, sometimes they just they just find another nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga bag might just be, think about that. Nigga shit, bag man. might be bigger than yours. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you trying to talk about you trying to talk about what you, you were doing when I was. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I took you to Applebee's. Yeah. I just, well, then he take me to roof, Chris. Come like, God ah, damn, cuz I can't compete with that, cuz. <laughs> Not yeah. in here. All you can say is, watch when I come home. Why I got, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I can only mind. imagine the mental pictures that a man thinks, you know, the things what? that's going on in a man's mind when his woman. Boy, I had a dream so bad one night. <laughs> hey, cuz. Fuck you up. Cuz I had a dream so fucking bad one night, bro. No bullshit. Yeah. I, woke, I woke up, bro, like real deal sweating, bro. And like, like trying to sit on, sit on the bottom, when it sat on the toilet, like just thinking, bro. My son, like, man, what the fuck you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, man, nigga, fucking my bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fucking my bitch right now, bro. I can oh, feel it, bro. Man. We so tired, bro. You yeah. start getting delusional. Yeah. You, know, yeah, like you start seeing that shit. Uh, yeah, you start bro. seeing baby leg. What? Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You can hear a moan in your head, got arm right nigga. Little Jody got there pulling up the you know her, her little her little friend from back in the day, her little homeboy. Little Never Jody to the goddamn crowd, you hear me? Crucifying. Crucifying. And there's nothing you can do. Yeah, but you know, I'm a big, I'm a big player, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I respect the game, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I respect the game. I might not like it. Yeah. But I respect the game. I respect the game. I, I take what comes with it. I ain't I don't. I was tripping. I ain't gonna say I won't tripping, but <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely tripping on it. Yeah. But once you, once you, you gotta respect the game, cause like I'm one. It wasn't like I was out there, motherfucker, uh, Mr. Hux. It okay. wasn't like I was okay. out here, uh, 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 one of the, one of the, one of the, I want doctor, I want Uncle Phil. You okay. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? You gotta so, charge it to the game. You gotta charge, keep it real. You gotta get accountability. To, charge it to the game, bro. That's love, man. Charge That's real. That's real. That's dope, man. Look, so uh you, you you do your time, you take it to the chin. Four years. Yeah. You getting out. Yeah. What's 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 on your mind? You got the you got it all planned out, like like, you know what I'm saying? Because you've been you you've had to eat that humble pie. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? They they've thrown you the, the yeah they, they've thrown you the sack of a uh, of four four pieces of, of of frozen bread and that shitty bologna. Nah, for sure. For four years straight, you've been for eating that show. Sure. What's yeah. the first day out feel like? What you do? You feel alive again. You feel alive again. You know, and for me, it was it was just like ah, right, it's time to it's time to build something. It's time to everything I've been talking about. Doing, I don't roll all these goals down, made all these plans, and set out to achieve all these mm. goals. It's time to go accomplish this shit. Like my, like if you watch my first night out video, <clears throat> I first, like as soon as I walked out of the jail, said a cameraman waiting on me. I'm shooting the video immediately. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, I'm going to chase my goals, chase my dreams. I'm a serial entrepreneur, so don't like rap. That's just one of my hustles. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it's the what I'm probably what I'm most passionate about because I love it. You feel what I'm saying? But I done set up other business plans to get done. Now it's time to put everything in motion that I said I would do is stand on that shit. And then, you know, like I said, you being heartbroken and you been you been left behind and shit like that. Or you man, I felt like I was missing so much. But once I got out here, I realized like everything was just missing me. Come on. I was the missing piece. Come on. <laughs> I like I was, that. That's a I was the, right there. Real spirit. Yes, I was sir. I was the one missing. I was the one. Because I, I I'm so used I'm a provider, bro. I'm a provider. I'm a I'm a you know what I mean, I'm a I'm a real go getter. Mm -hmm. I'm a real go getter and once I got out here, I'm like, man, I felt like I was running laps around there. No, you yes. I felt like I was like real spill and there ain't no disrespect or nothing like that mm -hmm. because I know everybody move at their own pace, but I I felt like I was like 10, 15 steps ahead of everybody because once you once you study something so much, you set out to do goals. You set out to set out to make shit happen. It become subconsciously you, you just get to doing shit. 
you ain't even really got a uh, 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 go. Like I, I done, I done rolled a lot of goals down. Mm -hmm. While I was locked up, when I came home, I just got out and just went and made it happen. Hmm. And then I go back and look at my goal list, like, damn, I can check that off. I yeah. can check this off, check this off. It felt good. And I'm like, damn, I ain't read over this shit in like three, four months. But I'm making it happen because you done, you done, you done instilled this shit in your head. So yeah, now you're you doing it. it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're doing it subconsciously and you're just making it and you're just going for what you know. And like I said, all everything that a lot of people see now, see me um, been doing now, the, the little bit they didn't see me do. It just really been on the fly. Yeah, and really. Like I said, done subconsciously, just going to going to. You make it look good, bro. Yeah. You make Appreciate it look good. That. You know, they, they, a wise man said that if if everybody in the world started went back to zero dollars, if all of us, everybody started at zero again, reset. right? Everybody reset. The same people that have money would have money. Mm -hmm. The same people that's broke will be broke. It's a mindset. Because broke is a mindset. You it's feel a mindset saying? thing. And, and, and having money and having paper and being successful or whatever is always a mindset. That's something that I always thought, like, it didn't matter where, what city I went to, yeah. I was going to have some motion. No, for sure. Because that, it, it ain't about the city. It's about me. It's who I am as a person. You I know what I'm saying? Bro, I watch you do that shit, bro. <laughs> I'll I switch your gears real quick. Nah, real <laughs> I watch you do it. I watch you do it, bro. Like, it, it. Like I ain't not no bullshit level, like a high level, like no like really going to going to get this shit. I'm like, damn, bro, we're doing this up here. I ain't down at eight doing, bro. Shit. Damn. But you know, that's the same thing I can say about you. Like, fresh, fresh, always gonna have some motion. You feel no, what I'm saying? Sure. Any, any, any time, even from the, the time that I pulled up at the crib back then. You know what I'm saying? As you as a young artist, like. You know the mentality. You you have always had a hustler spirit. That's one thing that I can sure. always I always respect about like that kid gonna get him some money. No, for that sure. kid gonna get him some money. He gonna get, he gonna get him some motion. He gonna do what he gotta do. You, you, you gotta think, bro. When you when you don't have nothing, hmm. you you want everything. Ooh, we ain't got nothing. I need it too. I need everything. You I feel that's how I be feeling. <laughs> when you know when you ain't got nothing. Bro, you want everything, bro. You feel what I'm saying? It's like you want everything. Think about how many times when you was a kid, you like, man, when I get big, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give me a Ferrari. I'm mm -hmm. gonna, uh, I'm gonna have prettiest girlfriend. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy these clothes. I'm gonna wear this. And you, when, when you don't have none, you want everything. And once you start, once you start getting that motion going, getting that motion going, and you, and you starting to gravitate towards these things, all the things that you thought was everything becomes. <laughs> it's crazy when your dreams you want way more than exactly. You, you feel what I'm saying? It's crazy when your dreams become goals for sure, and then you see that your your dreams is now in, in behind you. Like for whoa, sure. like I used to. I remember I used to always want a Range Rover. I'm like, I want a Range Rover. Yeah, for sure. Then I was like, oh man, if I do a couple of more things, I can get that Range Rover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I got that Range Rover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I sold that bitch. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. the for suspension sure. went out. Yeah, 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 now yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, now I want a Bentley. You no, know, you get sure. that and then you go on so forth and so forth or whatever. But your dreams become goals and your goals become things that you've checked off in the past. So by the time you get by the time you get them, you got a whole nother set of exactly, dreams. Exactly, exactly. I used to always think like, does it ever stop? I don't think it do. If you really, if 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 you got, it real, ain't stopped for me yet. If you got real ambition, if you got real, a real drive about yourself, and you got real like like goals and real purpose, mm -hmm. that's the most important thing. If you got real purpose, if you got children that you raising, or you got an uh, old lady, or your mama, or your 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 daddy, your pa, your grandmas, whoever you feel, what I'm saying your friends around you that you trying to uh, like like bring up, bring up, because that's how I look at things. You know what I mean? This is how my mindset is. Mm -hmm. I always look to try to give. So I know if I'm always looking to help everybody have something, God gonna keep me with something to give. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna keep on climbing just like that. And I never, I'm to this day, bro, I've never, ever, ever, ever worried about uh, being out back. <laughs> but even when I was, even when I, when I was locked up, I never worried about damn how the fuck I'm gonna how the, when I'm gonna. Uh, I just always knew I was gonna make something happen. Respect. I always knew, even if I ain't had nothing right on that day, I was I gonna figure something way. out. You I feel, feel the same way. You, you got that mindset, bro. You, it's, this, bro, America is for sale. Nah, for sure. America you know, you, bro, 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 you drop, you drop a, you drop a hustler off in the middle of the jungle. He gonna come out with a fur coat. 
No, for drop sure. a hustle off in the middle of a, of an ice storm or, or the middle of a goddamn Alaska. He gonna he gonna build an igloo and come out there. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just come in with, certain come people. Come out with plenty of ice. Come yeah. on, you feel what I'm saying? Come it's, out with it's, plenty of ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just a mentality of people. The losers is no, gonna lose true. because they got the mentality of a loser. You know what I'm saying? And I, I had to learn, and, and that's what I want to talk about. When do you know? When you can't have certain individuals around you because they're holding you back and, 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 and taking away from what you got going on. How do you cut people off? How do you know when it's time to just, you know what, bro? We ain't on the same path in life. I got to leave you behind. I ain't going to lie. That's, that's like one of the hardest things to do. It's very hard. You feel me? Uh, you know, I had, I ain't going to lie. That's one of the things, that's one of the hardest things to do, really. When you when you when you start noticing yourself going down a different path than what everybody else is going, and you and and you know that y'all goals ain't the same, but mm. you feel what I'm saying, but you want you want them to be right there, but you want, every, you want it right there with you, but everybody's goal is not the same as yours, and you gotta respect it. Mm -hmm. I heard Booster say say a long time ago, uh, we ain't gotta hang, nigga, but we still partner. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? It's it been friends from from my past and shit like that, homeboys and shit like that. And you know, I, them niggas know I love them to death. I see them, it's still all smiles and hallmark cars and shit like that. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know how they feel, but there's always love on my side. But I just know that that like we not destined to go to the same place. And you know, everybody can't come. With everybody ain't gonna make it to the next level. Yeah, it's cliche, but you know, everybody can't come. Everybody can't come, and and. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That's the hardest thing. That's probably like the hardest thing in the world to do, bro. No, nah, no, nah, it's, it's 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 tough. It's family, tough. friends, yeah, yeah. whoever. Get to to the point, bro. I find like a lot of a lot of peace and and, and a lot of peace and solace and, and isolation sometimes. And maybe that's just me, like being probably like stage scrub or something like that, and being in the hole or whatever. But isolation, bro, it really give you time. to... Like to get your thoughts together and, and, and set forth what you want to do, and you start know you know this shit. Cause think about how many people you probably thought you needed, mm. how many people you probably thought you couldn't live without, mm -hmm. until you just like <laughs> did it. You live know without them. Yeah, hey, and you're like damn, cause I gotta been there, this. Like, hey, like damn, your funky feet, ass girl. I could have been left you long. No, nah, you know it's crazy. That's 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 part of growth, though. You know, sometimes like sure. in order to grow, like you know, in order to grow, sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta leave some people behind. You can't hate on nobody. Don't wait on nobody. You know, and sure. and I, I had to go through that through life too. My best friend, my best friend in the world, like from the sandbox. Yeah. I love him to death, but I can't take him nowhere with me. Yeah, cause sure. mentality different, you know what I'm saying. He's a great guy, but you know he, he just mentality different. He wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And 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 so where I'm going in life, I can't bring him along, cause it's going people going, it's going to mess up what I got going. No, for sure. And, and so, but if they love you, they'll mm -hmm. understand that for sure. And if they if they if they have a problem or an issue with it and don't eventually understand and they they, they really was for self anyway because sure. it, because if I love you I want to see you grow I want to see you prosper whether or not I'm there or not for sure and that's one thing I can say about my bro you know shout out my bro Fred G like he still love me you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. but he understand like man P over here the got now BT awards and he going to the Grammy and he know his ass can't go cause he be tripping you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying for sure, for sure. but it's you know it's love and some people some people don't see it that way some people do you hey, know what I'm saying it's crazy you say that it's crazy you say that my, my brother he my brother man he doing he doing he doing a quarter he doing a quarter right now mm -hmm. in the king and uh like now he's starting to like develop that growth in his mind. Yeah, yeah. But when he was out here, when he was on the street, he, like man, real like, he, man, you been heard something totally wrong. How I, I might say it, like, man, don't take nothing for granted. You been a guy now when robbed nigga bare face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you know what yeah. I, mean? I can't be involved in that I where I'm going. You know what I mean? But I love you, and once I get to where I'm going, then. You know what I mean? I can reach back. And but, you can be a blessing to them. Uh, yeah, and you know what I mean? It's unfortunate, but free rail. Free rail. Fish and land. Shots out. Shots out. To my brother, you feel what I'm saying? My blood brother, like, ah, boy, I love you to death. You feel what I'm saying? We got to talk about the record, man. Um, I know you got a ton of records. I yeah. know you got a ton of hits. But there's one record that I got to talk about because it's my favorite Fresh Porter record. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, because it mentions a, a, a man that uh, I had the opportunity to meet. I had a lot of respect for. I actually yeah. got some money with a couple times. Yeah. Dog Jiggle. 
Dog Jewel. That's my favorite uh, fresh water. Balls, right? nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, dog, man. Dog Jigga, you man, you go, you come in, you come in the well and 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 them tri cities and, and say that name. Shit, nigga might got down got down salute like the army when you soon yeah. as it, soon as the name said, you feel me? And, <clears throat> You know, that was my real big homie. Like, bro, if you ain't like dog, you was just a straight hater. Solid. He was solid. You, were, you had to be a hater of being like dog, bro. That's <laughs> like one of the really niggas I ever came across, bro. Genuine nigga. He gonna tell you the truth. You feel what I'm saying? And he gonna help you. If you feel like you on if you feel like you bullshit, he gonna tell you. Yeah, for sure. But if you if you got if you see you got something going for yourself and you can make something of yourself, he gonna try he gonna Try to do what he can to, to, to help you achieve what you're trying to achieve, bro. And you know, what I mean, even with dog, he ain't want he ain't had the most money. He want the most flying. He was just genuine to the core, bro. A real, a real solid nigga and, and a real like somebody look a real OG. You yes, feel what I'm saying? Somebody real look up to. You feel what I'm saying? And I always looked up to him because he always he always gave me good advice he always told me the right thing even when he seen me doing wrong <laughs> you know you young you see it, mama yeah, see yeah. you doing this shit you know you ain't got no business like man look dj dj what you doing boy you know what i'm saying but yeah, he might see he ain't gonna hate him he ain't gonna he ain't gonna soldier hate a nigga and make a nigga start doing the thing but he gonna he gonna put that bug in here like you feel what i'm saying yeah and i just respect that so much from him because you know what I mean? He he always there, take the time out, the, the kick, kick the bullshit, kick this shit with niggas. You feel what I'm saying? We won't on his level, mm -hmm. but he'll still take that time out and, and, and kick it with niggas and try to make us feel just as important as he is. He's just a humble dude, man. And like I said, he he gave me my first opportunity to rock the stage. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Man, Between you, you and him, bro. You and him. Y'all gave me like, my first opportunity is to rock the stage, bro. And I was just like, I, 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 a young nigga with a dream trying to, I ain't even know what was a dream. I just want to do it. You feel what I'm saying? Long live dog jigger, Long man. live, bro. Long live dog jigger, yeah. man. And speak, speaking of the people that we respect, OGs in the area, you know what I'm saying? We've had a, there, there, there's a few, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's yeah. a few musically, of course, on the musical end, and there's a few on the street end. We'll, we'll talk about the musical end. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's talk about Trey Song's impact in 804 music. Trigger. Yeah. Shit, go. Come on. I ain't well around it. He made us believe that we could do it. Man, what? I <laughs> go cap, nigga. What? I was sitting there goddamn the country and then with it. I saw the just gotta make it. I'm like, yo. Man, you had nigga, we could do this shit for real. Hey, bro. I'm talking about that. <laughs> Man, bro, you ain't training. I shit, I get worse from sometimes when, cause I'm the type of nigga smart. My always taught smart people to ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm the type of nigga. I'm gonna keep on asking what I need. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get info and shit. But you know, here he just, just a bona fide superstar. You feel what I'm saying? Straight from where I'm from, from out at three and shit. And so, bro, when I like seeing that happen and, and being able to like to see it, it's like see a nigga like I said that you can reach out to and tell you who gonna reach back to you. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Man gave me, man, I probably got like 12 songs with Trey. Wow. I, mean, I probably got 12, I got like 12 records with him. And I ain't like, not one. Bro, I'm going to tell you how slick I am, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we go we go to the yo, we go to the fan and shit. So we on like a three-day binge recording and shit like that, right? So we going, we in the studio and shit like that. Trey, probably, he, it'll be your first time hearing it, bro. But mm. I, I had to get in, bro. I'm fresh, <laughs> I'm fresh home and shit. So we in the studio. This is like three days, we like three days straight on the bench in the studio. We go out, party, bullshit, go to the studio and, and rap, rap, and rap about the same bottle. So every time we get in the yard and shit, he go in, I let him go in first, lead the way with the hook or whatever he gonna do. I might go in that bitch and start freestyling and got them. <laughs> Freestyle, say anything, just so we can get to the next record. I know if I keep on, got, uh, <laughs> I, keep, gonna keep, gonna get I keep getting, yeah, yeah, I keep getting the verses done like that. I right, on to the next you one. Come back, you come I can back. come back and get that one. <laughs> I was just in the car, I swear to God, I was just in the car listening, uh, listening to the records we got from like a year and a half, two years ago. <laughs> I'm about, I'm about, we about, I'm about, I'm about to bust them all and shit like that. But I was, yeah. I was just thinking of the mode I was in. I'm like, shit, I can come back to this. Yeah. You feel me? I got to hide that this shit. Send it to me. You feel what I'm saying? But you might just really, he took the time out to really like, like, fuck with niggas. You feel what I'm saying? And back to the dog jiggle record, man. Yeah. That's today. That's like my big. That's my biggest record to this day. I love that record, bro. I, I, I play that, that. I play that record. 
You know a nigga fuck with a record when a nigga don't even call you and tell you he play. I literally play that record all the time. I seen you telling Red about it. Like I really be playing that Shout shit. Shout out Free Shice the too. Yeah, man. Free Shice, Free, free, free Shice, man. man. Shout out Redhead, man. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, shout out Trey. It's over a million views collectively across all platforms right now. Fresh Porter, Dog Jiggle, man. Y'all go check it out. Featuring Pooh Shice. Crazy record. Featuring Crazy Pooh record, man. Um, talk to me about bringing Pooh Shice to the hood, man. Having Pooh Shice in the hood. That's crazy. That's a big moment. Hey, we bought the sit out. Yeah, I can only imagine. We bought the sit out. I was just in Atlanta just looking like, boy, my boy doing it. Hey, look, I appreciate it. <laughs> but it, 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 the most amazing part of it to me, like, we had we literally had niggas from every hood in there. Every hood. In the bird, and we ain't had like not one fight, not one argument. The police ain't come fuck with us or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Cause everybody knew we was rapping for dog. Let's go. And you and respect her, and respect her on like niggas ain't come. They know not they ain't come in playing like that mm-hmm. on dog man. You feel what I'm saying? F- forget about me with the record and shit like this for dog. And it just felt good to put on for my nigga like that because you like man, I, it's just an indescribable feeling, bro. That was like one one of my proudest moments in, in, in my career so far. You feel what I'm saying? Then Shice that he came through. You feel what I'm saying? With G shit, like no security, no nothing. Just him and his dad. And I think he had, had trap. Shouts out trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had hang roll with him and shit, and, 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 and you know nigga came through. Uh, did play their part and. Not on no skirt, no pussy ass shit, none of that shit. And we and we got uh, uh we got we had props out there. We got plenty of prop guns out there. And shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty props, pretty props. Yeah, a lot of prop guns and yeah. shit out there. And, and man, he he won't scare none of them props. So you feel what I'm saying? So like real nigga like, shit. Like he 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 showed me like he just a solid, he just a solid solid young nigga. You feel what I'm saying? He damn near looked like he you couldn't tell if he won't from around yeah, there. Yeah, like he from the bird. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't tell he won't from around there. He, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That like you feel I respect that a whole lot. I respect that a whole lot. And you feel I feel like it'll be the same if I was to go out his town. I ain't gonna I I don't know now. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? But I feel like I had that same mentality if I went out there where he at, you feel what I'm saying? And carry the same. I feel like it'll be reciprocated with the same type of love. Free free shit, man. man. Free shit. All right, man. So uh, a couple of days ago, I get on Instagram. Mm. I'm just doing my scrolling. Mm. I go and say cheese. Mm. I see my brother Fresh Porter mm. with a whole bunch of money. Yeah, yeah. And the headline says Fresh Porter signs himself for two hundred thousand. Hang on, Sam. Not going for it. <laughs> Fresh Porter signs himself. For two hundred thousand dollars to his own label. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about that. Man, I remember Gucci used to say some shit back in the day. Uh, he used to say, "Sign yourself, yourself." I don't want to say that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, but he used to say, "Sign yourself." You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I always kept that in mind, bro. I, I, it got to the point, my nigga, like. Like labels will play games with you. <laughs> Talk about it. Labels will play games with you. They are like, mind you, like, like everything I ever got came out of the muscle. Whether me putting it in or my partner chipping in with me, you feel what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be, I always, like I said, I, I pride myself on independence because at one point in time, I was the only one who believed in this dream. You feel what I'm saying? I'm one of the few. And then once people started seeing it going up, then they, became interested in shit like that, but it was more so just out of love for me. Not even, they ain't even had to believe in it. They just loved me so much, they willing to do what I love to do and mm-hmm. willing to pitch in and shout out to my partners, you feel what I'm saying? But for the most part, <clears throat> like 90% me, always been me, mm-hmm. you feel me? And you know, once you done put so much work in, and once you done put so much work in, and you done built something from the ground up, like what I look like going, going in front of labor and Letting them take all my blood, sweat, and tears. Talk about it. All my ownership, everything, all the pain I ain't hit, all the, all the losses I done took, licks I done hit, uh, like up all night grinding, scrambling just to get studio time and put in real pain for this shit. Stood on corners, got down, uh, arguing with the girl, uh, everything I done put into it. Why would I give all that away? I'll get all of the way. Everything that I don't work so hard for is just get away. Get all my ownership away. You know, I, I just can't go for that. You know, if not for the bag that I want. Yes, sir. Because I feel like my shit worth 
like multi multi millions. You feel you know, me? It's, it's different when you can put up your own money on yourself. For sure. You know, a nigga could talk it all day. Oh, sure. I'm worth this. I'm worth that. No, nah, nigga, I'm willing to put this up for and sure. stand on it. You know for what I'm saying? Because sure. niggas, niggas, niggas talk all day. I work for me. Well, put a million up on you. For sure. But you, you want feel, another nigga to nigga, do it for you. You ain't got a million. Put 10% of that. Yeah, put yeah. But you want somebody up. else to do it for, for you, but sure. you won't do it for yourself. For sure. Yeah, that don't, that don't make no sense to me, I man. Say, That's why it, I respect what you move. I appreciate that. And, you know, my mindset was... My mindset was let me let me show the world what I can what I can get done on my own. Like I've been studying nigga like Bird Man, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Studying, I got a chance to meet Master P. Um, I got a chance to uh, meet a lot of a lot of self made bosses in the game. Who I seen got a chance to meet Dolph, Long Live mm -hmm. Dolph. That was the first feature I ever bought was from Dolph. It's crazy, and you know he an independent nigga, PIE mm -hmm. like. To the day he he to the day he die, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like really like self made nigga. So that, like as soon as I got some money, like I'm gonna get Dolph. Mm -hmm. Happy hell to get get my boy that seventy five hundred. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. To do that song with me. But um, <clears throat> you know I just watched nigga pave their own way like that, and I watched and seen what they was worth at the end. <laughs> I seen what they was worth at the end of of the journey. You feel me? Think about this. Think about how far you came. Nick, I'm pretty sure you ain't all the way where you want to get to, right? No, we never stop. Never stop grinding. That's my that's my label name, mm -hmm. NSG Ruggers. Never stop grinding. Mm -hmm. You ain't all the way to where you want to get to, right? Facts. But think about how long it'll take you to turn around and go back to where you started. Way longer than keep going. Than to keep going the nice. way you're getting to. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's my mindset. So I'm like, at this point, I'm waiting on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on. Like, like looking at looking at going to label meetings and shit, talking to different executives or talking to A and R's who reaching out to me. And I feel like, man, I know I'm worth more than that. I know I'm worth more than that. So I got to a point where I just like, man, fuck it, man. I'm gonna bet on myself. Come on, I'm gonna bet on myself. I've been betting on myself. <clears throat> <coughs> now I'm gonna bet big on myself. Let's go. <coughs> I'm gonna put all my chips in. So I kind of like worked the joint venture day out with my partner and shit, and you know, um, <coughs> like it ain't it ain't it ain't no easy way. It ain't no it ain't no um. This ain't gonna be no easy path for me. The take, you feel what I'm saying? This ain't gonna. I'm gonna have to put in the same grind I did as when, cause now it's just that I got a little notoriety or whatever like that. People be like, oh, that's boy. But now it's like I'm back at I'm back at square one, damn near. Cause I got my, I got my foot in. I got my foot in. I'm out the street. I got my foot in here. So now it's just time to put in more work. Fuck what I done got done in the past. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's accolades and stuff like that. It's things I can be proud of. But now it's just time to go get way more. Come on. It's time to go go, go get way more. It's a whole world to get, bro. Grind like you broke. No, you feel Grind me? Grind like I ain't got a dime. I do the same thing. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot, lot of, of that would be a lot of nigga problem too, bro. Like, niggas ain't got no stay down gang. <laughs> niggas ain't got no stay down gang. Yeah. Soon they get a little paper and shit, bro. They got down. Uh, 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 they soon they get a little paper. All right, boom. Y'all can start playing y'all seed at the same time, right? Yeah. And you watching your tree grow. <laughs> your tree done grew up. You but you just sat back and watching your tree grow. He see the first little plant come out here. He want to take his and get down, and and get down go get, get his flower to a girl off the rip. <laughs> And you like shit. I'm like, I ain't gonna do mine. I'm gonna let mine keep growing. Before you know, you got a bouquet, and then you got one rose. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, so, that's a free game. Free game. Hey man, what's next for Fresh Porter? Man, what can we expect? Uh, what's on the horizon? What do we need to be looking out for? Uh, nine mean, nine mean the singer. I, the name of the song was "Broke Bitch Dream," but. <laughs> <laughs> For obvious reasons, we changed the title to make it cleaner and stuff like that. And I got a, a real, a real good marketing team on my side, so we changed the title to Nine Mean. That's my next single driving. It's gonna be kind of like it's gonna be a big deal. Uh, Nine Mean be be everywhere on December, the first Friday in December. I can't I can't think of the exact date. Uh, it's December second. I got Let's Eat the Movie. That's out right now. Uh, we 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 going theater to theater with that. I started my first movie role. Like got a really got a starring job in the, cool. in the movie role. Um, 
we had what two, three premieres so far. We're going our fourth one in DC. Then we coming down here to Atlanta, Let's actually. Go. So I'm, uh, I gotta send you an invite. Come on, I'm coming. I got, I gotta send you an invite. To then we're going to Ohio. Then we're going, I think, to Houston and some other places. And it's gonna be on all platforms soon. And like I said, Dion and Beverages. You feel what I'm saying, Dion and Beverages. <laughs> uh, like I'm an entrepreneur, but on his mute on his music thing, like you can, you can expect to see a lot from me. Uh, like I said. I got millions of views on YouTube, millions of views on YouTube, uh, millions of screens and whatnot, you feel me? And now it's just time to get a lot more, it's time to get millions of dollars. Yeah, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get millions of dollars, you feel me? Hey, man, um, I wanted to say this on, on camera, man. I'm proud of you. I appreciate that, you bro. You feel what I'm saying? I, um, I have seen the growth. Mm -hmm. You know, from from that side street of Petersburg no, for sure. to now, you feel for what I'm sure. saying? And to see, man, you got a building, bro. You got a whole building. <laughs> it ain't about man. me, man. You gave me my flowers, man. Let me nah, give you sure. yours. Man. I, for sure, that, for sure. That, bro. Like, bro, but to see to see that kid, to see that kid, I pulled up on on that side street of Petersburg. Yeah. To now hopping out of Rolls Royces and doing the things that you're doing, brother. Um, you sure. an inspiration to not only not only hip hop, but you an inspiration to your area. Sure. Your inspiration to Virginia, Appreciate and uh, can't you can't stop because it's people that's the next generation. Just like you was looking up when I was coming, the next generation looking at you. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Let these folk know where to follow you at, where they can find that fresh porter, where they can get everything fresh porter. Yeah, pop yeah, it. yeah, 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 man. You follow me on Instagram, Porterville, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right now uh, at Fresh Porter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can find me. I'm about to make a TikTok too. So you okay. sit on there dying, doing a little, <laughs> do my little one, two, and shit. You feel me? Yeah. You can find me on there too. But um, uh, uh, if you got any booking inquiries or whatever, you feel what I'm saying? Porterville booking at gmail.com. You know, right now, I ain't gonna lie, yesterday's price is not next today's week. Today's price. It's not today's price. Oh, ain't next week's price neither. <laughs> So you better give me why you can. I'm trying to tell you. You feel what I'm saying? Cause this shit, this shit finna go up major, man. Uh, Porterville three the album coming out, man. I got um, I got some big names on there: Fredo Bang, Trey Song, Pusha T, um, Trip Star. Uh, I got a record with Wine Fan Lucci. We working on the clearance and, and getting things situated with that. You know, um, <clears throat> who was that on there? Who else on there? Uh, hey, I got another surprise for you. I ain't, okay. gonna, I, ain't gonna, I, ain't, I ain't gonna talk about it yet. Okay. I ain't gonna talk about it yet, but it's, it's a big deal. You understand me? And um, you know, I I'm I'm been putting in that work. But Porterville Three, that's the next project that's yes, coming sir. out. And I mean, that's the that's the single that's coming out December second. You know, and, and and we're gonna take. I'm trying to take this shit to a whole new level, and I ain't I ain't doing no plan right now. You can go check out the uh, the single Jackie Chan. I think we over like a hundred thousand some views. On Jackie Chan, um, me and Tripstar, that's out right now. Um, uh, get around with Pusha T, that's out on on all platforms. Yes, sir. You feel me? You can go check that out. Um, man, I, I got a lot of stuff to name, but you know, I let you come find me. I like to say it stay a little mysterious. So that is for you to come find find out for yourself. Hey, man. Once again, I'm proud of you, brother. I gotta give a shout out because I know all my family in Virginia seeing this one. They ain't seen me in a while. Uh, uh, shouts out Fastway, uh, KT, uh, the whole So Heated gang or whatever, uh, Arctic Freeze, Fresh Port out here making the whole city look good, man. Shouts out all my 804 family, man. I appreciate everybody that's continued to support me. You can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the rich, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast, sponsored by Engorge Rejuvenation T, promoting erections, improving Stamina, endurance, increasing size and libido. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, of course, we got shoot crazy wine. It's a whole bunch of Virginia shit going on. We got what well, we got fresh. We got that. Beyond it, <laughs> that beyond it. It's a whole lot of Virginia hey, business. Hey, a hey, black hey, excellence going hey, on. Hey, what oh, you, yeah. you say this dude right? Oh yeah, right there. That's that's that's, that's that guy. Uh, that's that guy. It produces, man. Listen, it promotes erections, produces it, it promotes endurance, uh, increases size, libido, all natural. Oh, you you like just the take the Oh man, it's better. Oh shit! I don't know. Yeah, Man, it's it's that honey crow, on steroids, and it's all natural, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah, you gonna. If you see one of these, don't miss them. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Follow me, on Ugly Money. It's been the Ugly Money podcast with Fresh Porter. Hey, no folks, stand up.
able to, oh, then it, ooh, and then legs, and then go low. Okay, boom. Yeah, 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 shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess it's natural, man. And speaking of natural, this episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation Tea. It promotes erections, improves stamina, promotes endurance, increases styles, and boosts uh, boost libido. So if you really want to put it down the way you're supposed to put it down, make sure you go to Engorge.com and get yours today. Male supplement, all natural, just like Big Groove do his thing. All natural. <laughs>